These three objectives will be covered in two parts. At the end of this part two video, you should be able to fully relate the motion of a freely falling body to motion with constant acceleration, calculate displacement, velocity, and time at various points in the motion of a freely falling object, and compare the motions of different objects in free fall. Chapter two, section three, freely falling objects always have the same downward acceleration. It may seem a little confusing to think of something that is moving upward, like the ball in the example in the previous video, as having a downward acceleration. Thinking of this motion as motion with a positive velocity and a negative acceleration may help. The downward acceleration is the same when an object is moving up, when it is at rest at the top of its path, and when it is moving down. The only things changing are the position and the magnitude and direction of the velocity. When an object is thrown up in the air, it has a positive velocity and a negative acceleration. From figure 2.3, we see that this means that the object is slowing down as it rises in the air. From the example of the ball and from everyday experience, we know that this makes sense. The object continues to move upward, but with a smaller and smaller speed. In the photograph of the ball, this decrease in speed is shown by the smaller and smaller displacements as the ball moves up to the top of its path. At the top of its path, the object's velocity has decreased until it is zero. Although it is impossible to see this because it happens so quickly, the object is actually at rest at the instant it reaches its peak. Even though the velocity is zero at this instant, the acceleration is still negative 9.81 meters per second squared. When the object begins moving down, it has a negative velocity, and its acceleration is still negative. From figure 2.3, we see that a negative acceleration and a negative velocity indicate that an object is speeding up. In fact, this is what happens when objects undergo free fall acceleration. Objects that are falling toward the earth move faster and faster as they fall. In the photograph of the ball in figure 3.2, which is on a previous slide in the previous video, this increase in speed is shown by the greater and greater displacements between the, ball and the images as the ball falls. Knowing the free fall acceleration makes it easy to calculate the velocity, time, and displacement of many different motions using the equations for constantly accelerated motion. Because the acceleration is the same throughout the entire motion, you can analyze the motion of a freely falling object during any time interval. Let's toss a ball into the air and think about its velocity and acceleration as it travels. When the ball is first tossed into the air, it is moving quickly upwards. It slows, then changes directions, and speeds up again on the way down. Let's look at this again and focus on the velocity. Suppose the initial upwards velocity is 20 meters per second. As the ball travels upwards, the velocity slows. Let's freeze the motion at the top. At this point, the ball is no longer traveling upwards, so it does not have a positive velocity. However, it has not yet started moving downwards, so it cannot have a negative velocity either. The ball must therefore have a velocity of zero. Next, the ball starts to descend and gain speed as it travels. Let's throw the ball one more time and graph its velocity as a function of time. As you can see, the velocity changes smoothly from upwards, positive, to downwards, negative. Remember that acceleration is the slope of the graph of velocity versus time. You can see that the velocity graph has a constant negative slope. This slope is the acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The ball has this same acceleration at all times, even as its velocity is positive, then briefly zero, then negative. At this point, you should be able to fully relate the motion of a freely falling body to motion with constant acceleration, calculate displacement, velocity, and time at various points in the motion of a freely falling object, and compare the motions of different objects in free fall.